Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to your English lesson. Here we are on 30 Days of English, and this is lesson four. All right. And today, as promised, we're going to be doing a continuation what we started at the end of our last lesson, talking about using wishes and using the subjunctive verb tense. Are you ready? Let's go. In case you haven't done so, you can subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, you can do the quiz after this lesson, and let's go straight into it. More than ever, we know what it's like to live where we live because we're spending so much time there. So I have a few sentences just to get the conversation going. For example, let me know if you agree or disagree. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Well, I have a lot of students who do live in part of a house, for example. They're living on one floor of the house, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, one bathroom, and it seems to be okay. Of course, there are some families that are always thinking about moving out. Apartments are too small for pets? Well, I guess it depends on the size of your pet. Depends what kind of pet you have. Houses cost too much money? Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Well, I'm not sure about that. What do you think? Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me know what you think. Maybe you think the opposite. So maybe you live in an apartment. Maybe it's a big apartment, I hope. Or maybe you live in a house. Whichever place you live, I'm going to give you a word that we can use when we describe a place where you're living where there's not so much space. You could say that it is cramped. Cramped. The opposite of that would be to live in a place which is very spacious. So let's say that you're living in a small apartment, one bedroom. Then maybe you wish you lived in a place that was bigger. You wish you lived in a place that was more spacious. So. Here you can see how we use wish. It means you would like to. It's your dream. It's something that you would like to do. And we put the verb here in the simple past. So you wished you lived in a place that was bigger, that was more spacious. You could also add in could. That's used a lot with wish. And you could say that also. You could say, I wish I could live in a more spacious place. How about you? Do you wish you could live in a more spacious place? This is from the experience that I see on Zoom with my students. Many of them, their kids are studying at home at the same time. So here they are trying to study online with me. And at the same time, maybe their kids are watching TV or something. So the mother, halfway through the class, has to say, can you please, and we would say, turn that down. So when we're decreasing the volume of the, the TV, for example, we'd say to turn down the TV, to turn down the volume. And maybe one solution for this, and I, I hear this as a wish from a lot of my students, I wish I had a bigger apartment, or I wish I lived in a bigger place. Now, something that can happen, and it doesn't matter if you're living in a house, you're living in a townhouse, or if you're living in an apartment, because I hear all these different stories uh, about your neighbors. So you could have neighbors that are nosy or neighbors that are noisy. Can you hear the difference? O and oi, nosy, noisy. In either case, you could make some wishes out of these. You could say, I wish my neighbors weren't so noisy, or I wish I could move. So when we're talking about that, your neighbors, your neighborhood as well, we want to talk about your privacy because you can have a place where you live and it's very private. You have a lot of privacy, or you can live in a place where you have almost next to nothing in terms of privacy. So. If you're really lucky, some of the select few can live in what we call a gated community. Do you wish that you lived in a gated community? 
let me know in your comments. Maybe you do live in a gated community. Okay, everybody, I hope that you enjoyed this lesson, studying some vocabulary, describing where you live, some adjectives, as well as using wish and how we put it into the simple past when we want to, and also how we quite often will use the verb in its simple form with could. And I look forward to our next lesson. You can do the quiz to practice what I've taught you here today. You can also watch the previous challenges that we have, and you can also subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in our next English lesson. Bye, everybody.